when we breathe, the air entering our lungs is not always perfectly clean. Along with oxygen, it can sometimes carry microscopic organisms such as bacteria, viruses, or fungi. Most of the time, our respiratory system filters these particles out before they reach the deeper parts of the lungs. However, in some situations, these microorganisms slip past the body's defenses and enter the alveoli, the tiny air sacs responsible for gas exchange. Once inside, these organisms may begin to grow and multiply. This process can trigger pneumonia. Pneumonia occurs when these harmful microbes invade the alveoli and disrupt their normal function. The presence of the invading organisms sends an alarm signal to the immune system, which quickly activates a defense response. Specialized immune cells travel to the infected area to attack and neutralize the pathogens. While this response is crucial for fighting infection, it also leads to significant inflammation. As immune cells work to eliminate the microbes, fluid, mucus, and cellular debris start to accumulate within the alveoli. Normally, these air sacs should remain open and filled with air so that oxygen can easily pass into tiny blood vessels called capillaries. However, when the alveoli become clogged with fluid and inflammatory material, they lose their ability to effectively exchange gases. This buildup severely reduces the amount of oxygen that can move from the lungs into the bloodstream. As a result, the body's cells receive less oxygen than they need, and this shortage can cause noticeable symptoms. People with pneumonia often experience shortness of breath, rapid breathing, coughing, chest discomfort, and fatigue. Fever and chills may also occur as the immune system continues to combat the infection. The severity of pneumonia can vary widely. Some individuals, especially healthy adults, may recover with proper treatment and rest. Others, including young children, older adults, and people with weakened immune systems may develop more serious complications. If not addressed promptly, pneumonia can interfere with vital organ function and become life-threatening. Understanding how pneumonia develops highlights the importance of prevention. Good hygiene, vaccination, avoiding smoking, and maintaining a strong immune system can all help reduce the risk of infection. Recognizing symptoms early and seeking medical attention ensures that proper treatments such as antibiotics for bacterial pneumonia or supportive care for viral infections can begin promptly. In essence, pneumonia is a condition in which harmful microorganisms invade the delicate lung structures, triggering inflammation that makes breathing difficult. It reminds us of the importance of healthy lungs and the need to protect them. Before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you never miss out on our latest videos. See you next time.